Hey guys, Wayne here from HT Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be doing a beginner's walkthrough on the LG Stylo 4. We're going to just start with the buttons of the phone. On the left side here, you will have your volume up and your volume down. And on the right side, we have our power uh, slash standby button. So just by pressing it once, it will wake the phone up from standby. If I hold the button down, it will prompt to turn the phone on and off. So hold it for a few seconds here and it will ask you power off, restart, or airplane mode. So um, that's just a quick way of turning the phone on and off. If the phone is already off, just hold the power button for about three seconds and then it should automatically turn the phone back on. Right here, we do have our fingerprint scanner. So just by, once you go to the settings and set this up, you just put your finger right here and it will automatically unlock the phone so you're automatically into it. At the bottom here, we do have our navigation buttons, which is just how we move around, how we control the phone. So if I ever go into an app, for example, if I wanna get back to the home screen, I just hit this circle at the bottom and it will take you back home. And if you ever don't see these three buttons here, all you have to do is swipe up and then it will show the buttons. Um, let's see, if we go into YouTube, it may show us. You may have a situation like this where you don't see the three buttons. So all you have to do is just swipe up and then it will show the buttons and then you can go back home. Swipe up, hit the button, takes you back home. All right, to the right of that home button, you will have the recent apps button. So by pressing this, you can see all the apps that are running on the phone. And if you wanna close out all the apps that are running, just hit your clear all button just like that and it will close all the apps that are running. The other cool thing about this button is, let's say you're, you've used multiple apps. So I just opened Facebook and I closed it and then I just opened the clock app. If I wanna jump back to the last app I was using, I just hit this button twice and it'll automatically go to the last app I was using, just like that. If you press it once, it'll, it'll give you the view and show you all the apps that are running. Hit that circle, that will take you back home. This button here is your back button. It always takes you back one step. So for example, if I go to the settings and let's say I select call and I didn't mean to select that, I can hit this back arrow and it will take me back one step. And if I press it again, it'll take me out of the app. So that's how you just go back one step. Um, and if you keep pressing it, it'll take you back to the home screen as well. Uh, on the home screen, if we swipe to the right, it will take you to our Google, um, Google Home, which is uh, a place where you'll find like news articles and things related to your Gmail. Um, anything related to your phone, you'll usually see uh, some type of news or something in this section. So that's just your quick shortcut to get to Google. Um, you can hit the microphone and you can do a, a, a voice search or you can tap the box here as well and you can do a quick Google search. So just a really easy way to do a search. You can also swipe down on the home screen and swiping down will take you to your personal assistant here where you can look at um, any emails that you receive, text messages, and the apps that you use the most or your recent apps right here as well. This is a great way to search for content on your phone. So maybe someone sent you a text message about a restaurant they wanted to meet at. You could just type here and you could um, type in the name of the restaurant or the person's name and it'll find the message from that person. So this is an easy way just to search your phone for anything. It could be a song. It could be, again, a message. It could be an email. It could be an app. If there's an app that you know you downloaded but you can't find it, swipe down and for example, Instagram, I can just start typing it and it'll find, oh, there's Instagram. And then you can open it up just that easy like that. If we swipe down from the top, this is our notification panel. It will show you um, all the shortcuts on your phone. So for example, if you want to connect to Wi-Fi, you want to make sure to, to just tap this button here to turn it on or off. If you hold down on it, it will automatically take you to the Wi-Fi section on your phone so you can connect to your home Wi-Fi. 
Right next to it, we have our speaker here. If you wanna put your phone on vibrate, just tap it one time. It'll put it on vibrate. Tap it again to put it on silent. We have our Bluetooth button here, our screen rotation. This is the button where if you, if it's not lit up, your phone turns sideways, um, it won't do anything. But if we tap it and then turn the phone sideways, usually the phone will rotate. On the home screen, it won't rotate, but like if you're in a video or your photo gallery, that's how you get it to rotate. If we swipe down, we have more options here. So you'll have a flashlight that you can use in emergencies airplane mode, your battery saver mode, which can help stretch your, your battery life, our GPS button here, if you turn this on, it helps you when you're using like Google Maps to try to find directions. And then swipe to the left, we have do not disturb, battery or data saver, and DTX X surround sound. So a couple of options there. And then if you're a first time user, you may want to turn this on. So hold down your home screen, go to home screen settings at the bottom here, and then select home. Now, if you're setting this phone up for a first time smartphone user, I recommend that you turn on easy mode because this basically makes all the icons larger and it simplifies the phone. So it'll make it super easy to use. If um, you don't need it to be like super large font, big everything. You just want it to be a little bit easier to use. You want to select home and app drawer and make sure this is turned on. This is a really uh, easier way to use the phone in my opinion because it gives you an app drawer. So it puts all the apps in this one section. So it's just easier to find all your apps and things that you've downloaded and it doesn't make it so you have to have all the apps on your home screen. So that is that. So um, there is that. We also have our S Pen at the bottom here, which you can use to control the phone as well, just to make things easier. You have this little icon right here. If you tap on it, you'll have some shortcuts, GIF creator, uh, screen capture just to take a picture of your screen, change your font, quick memo, and you can add another shortcut right here if there's another app that you use a lot. So like I use Instagram a lot, so I would add that as my other app. And that's your stylus pen right there. And that's about it. I try to keep this sort of short, simple, but I want to make sure you understand how to navigate your phone, where to find your apps, which is right here. Um, again, what you can see in your notification panel right there, swiping to the right, your, that's your Google Home, swiping down, which is your easy way to search for different things on your phone, and how to use your navigation buttons there. So this has been our LG Stylo 4 for beginners, and I hope you guys did find this helpful. Uh, leave me a comment if you did find it helpful, if it helped you out. And uh, make sure you also like, favorite, and share the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And follow us on Instagram at H2TechVideos. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care and have a good one.